everyone, it's that time of the week again, Tuesday, which means it's time for our weekly build team update. If you're not watching this video on Tuesday, when the video gets released, I recommend maybe subscribing so you can keep up to date with our video progress as we recreate Middle Earth. This week, we will be working on the Shire. You're probably noticing as well, everything in the back looks slightly different. No, the texture pack has not changed. It's still the same. I've downloaded a new shader. This is Kudo Shader. I'm using version 5.0.3 and I'm using the medium quality to reduce lag. I'll be swapping in and out of this shader throughout the video. I'll be using it the whole way through. Behind me is Hobbiton, which we've started working on. So far, we've made the Green Dragon Inn, a water mill and a few Hobbit holes. This looks kind of cool. Um, there's still a lot of work to be done in Hobbiton. But we've started making progress and hopefully in the next video it might even be finished. So what else will be added in the Shire? Villages. Lots of villages. This place in the background is Budgeford. It's a small humble village but if we come down the river and follow it west we'll eventually come to the grand village of Frogmorton. This is made to be quite a grand with lots of houses and market stalls. We've also added a village hall. Behind Frogmorton, you've even got a farm with one of my famous windmills. You can actually see Hobbiton in the background there as well. Further north, we've also got the village of Scary. Scary does look quite spooky with this shader, and we've got a cave in the back which I think gives it its name, which does make it a little bit spooky. There might be something creeping and lurking in that cave. You probably also notice behind Scary all of these structures here. These are cranes. And we have cranes because we've made a quarry behind Scary. Now I'm going to go and explore the quarry now. But it is important that we stay safe. Because the quarry can be quite dangerous. So we're going to put on our safety boots. So we don't step on anything nasty. And we're also going to put on a bright vest. So everyone can see us in the quarry. And people don't bump into us. And you know cause an accident. And we've also got to put on a yellow hard hat. So we're all ready to go. Let's go explore the quarry. In total we have about four different quarries and I know this isn't strictly in the Lord of the Rings books or movies however we wanted to add this as well because it does make it a little bit more interesting and diverse rather than just farms and villages and I do agree that's what the Shire mainly is that's mainly what we've made however our quarries are all different we've all got mines and different intricate parts to make it unique. Lastly, I wasn't sure whether or not I was going to add this into this weekly update as currently there's not really much to this. However, I've decided to add it anyway. At the moment, we only have one house in the middle of Overhill. This is eventually going to be the village of Overhill. Um, and I wasn't sure whether or not to put it in because it's just on its own. But this has got an Easter egg that I thought was so cool. It deserves to be shown off in today's video and I couldn't really wait to show you guys. So I'm going to go inside and we're going to find the entrance. Uh, that wasn't actually the entrance and we're going to go in. I also said that uh, I wasn't really going to be using the shaders all the way through. And I'm just going to try and find the staircase down. So we're just going to go down here. And we're going to press this button. And when we press this button... It plays the Mario theme, which is crazy cool. And if we come in here, we have a cool purple palette. Uh, Throne of Yano. King of Purple. Um, over here we have the theme playing. I feel like I'm running into Minas Tirith right now, riding on a horse. Just let you listen. Uh, what else do we have in here? Um, oh, I've been showing around. I'm trying to remember where everything is. Uh, here we. Oh, oh no! I'm flying too quick. <laughs> okay, here we have Locke's place. So this is where I stand. Uh, I have Locke in my safety gear. Okay, and we'll fly away from here. Uh, what else we got? Oh, this is a table. So this is chair of Yano. Um, lock rule stands here. Too cool to sit. Very true. Chair of again. Uh, chair of the charming Ethiquess, and there's a flower on these two. Um, chair of the delicious Snitzel. Uh, I do completely agree there. Chair of Lego Louis. Uh, we also have Chair of Rob Wiki the Assassin, Chair of Anaran, and not Chair of Carl Chen 1999 the Ranger King, Chair of Power from Fire, Chair of Slime Girl the Nazgul Slayer, Chair of Mr. Peterby, Chair of Aunt Zog, 
chair. Oh, this is Python's chair. You will not stop. I called it Lon. Okay, I'm completely sick of saying people's names. I'm terrible at saying names and that is truly my weakness. Uh, sorry builders, I know you're going to complain at me. <laughs> so that's all we really have time for today. I hope you have enjoyed it though. If you want to see more, please subscribe so you can see more of what I do and the rest of the build team. I hope you have enjoyed it though. I love you all and I'll see you in the next one.